Hey guys, welcome back to part 2 of the guide to securing your home network. For this segment, I'll be going over the wireless encryption protocol called WEP. WEP stands for Wired Equivalent Privacy. When WEP first came out, it was one of the best ways to secure your data, basically transferring your packets on a secure channel to the access point for different areas, say like to the internet, on your local network, or streaming media or something like that. But the encryption key for WEP is a static key, so basically meaning it does not change. So anyway, let's get going on with the other details of WEP. Alright, here's a little bit of a history of WEP. The Wired Equivalent Privacy Algorithm was introduced in September of 1999. The function of WEP was to scramble their data in their radio waves so it would be harder to intercept. WEP uses either a 10 or 26 hexadecimal digit. So basically the 10 or 26 hexadecimal digit were used on a very wide spectrum. But later on in 2003, the Wi-Fi Alliance has declared WEP dead in the water. So, flaz a pancake and eaten by WPA. All right, going into more detail of wired equivalent privacy. Starting off with the protocols involved with WEP. The protocols used to keep the confidentiality and integrity of WEP are the Stream Cipher RC4 and the CRC32 checksum. So let's go, let's just do the basic definitions of the two protocols. So for the Stream Cipher RC4 is used to encrypt the packets being transferred over the radio wave to the access point, while the CRC 32 checksum was used to keep the integrity of the packets of information intact. So and that's just basically the two definitions that would be required to know. Right, as for the authentication, WEP uses two forms of authentication methods. Those two would be the Open System Authentication or OSA and then the other authentication method would be Shared Key Authentication which would be SKA. So OSA Ska. Now, just a basic rundown of OSA, it basically means that the client does not need any form of authentication to communicate with the access point, but the encryption key is required in order to have a successful connection. The other method that I would like to go over is SCA, Shared Key Authentication. So for example, the client wants to get access to the network, so it sends out a request to the access point. The access point sends a clear text challenge back to the client saying better accept. Then this is where you would enter the key. And then once you enter the key, press OK or something like that, the client will send the clear text challenge as an accepted with the key provided. Then after that, the access point matches up the key to where it has been programmed and if it clears, then the challenge is over and you get perfect connection to the network. So yeah, that's basically the basics of OSA and SCA. SCA! <clears throat> Alright, so here's a question for you. Why would you use WEP? The only reason why I only recommend WEP is if you have a lot of older systems that do not support WPA at the minimum which can definitely pose a security risk, but if you have no other option, like if you don't have any money and you just have what you have, then what would be a way to go? Just here's a couple of tips. Just make sure you change the password quite often. I'd recommend at least every two weeks, if not once a week. And it's just, web is not recommended anymore, especially in the enterprise and even the home environment. Because if the key gets cracked, then people can do illegal activities like torrenting, uploading child porn or something more crazier than that. So anyway, use WPA or WPA2 and you'll be better off of not being hacked. Alright, so this basically marks the end of this video. So anyway, um, I do want to ask you to subscribe to this channel and also like this video as a thumbs up if it helped you. And as a final note, if you want to collaborate on this, feel free. It'll be very helpful to me and especially other people out there wondering about WEP. So, and if you have any questions regarding computer networking, home networking, 
anything about computer hardware or computer repair or basically anything in the computer environment, feel free to email me at skullbest at gmail.com or post in the tech syndicate forums. And again, don't forget to rate and subscribe, and I'll have more videos coming out this month. For the next video I'll be doing this tutorial series will be WPA and also WPA2. Thank you.